was lit. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be filming with the Sarahan Sar Sar 2, sorry if I mispronounced it, 2 from Juvia's Place. Um, I got this palette in a little bit ago. I know you guys asked me to film with it. So we're going to, I'm going to try and pull a little bit of a holiday palette out of this. We're going to go for more of a mauve look today, um, which I'm really excited to do. Since we're getting closer to the holidays, I thought, Psh, why not? So, if you guys want to see a look with this palette, make sure that you guys stay tuned. Okay, like I told you guys earlier, I'm going for more of a mauve look today. I'm going to go for a little bit more holiday, but not too holiday just yet. So we're gonna go mauve, a little bit more maroony, a little bit brown, a little bit of red, and we're not. I'm going to give you guys the eyes, and then I'll give you the finished look at the end, so we don't give you too much, so the video isn't too long. So we're gonna bring you guys in and get this bad boy started. Oh, wrong way. Uh, yes. So. As I always do in my videos, I'm going to give you guys the colors I'm going in with as we go instead of bringing up the palette every single time um, and whatnot. But I'm going to give you a good shot of the whole thing right now. Look at all. This one has a ton of shimmers in it. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. The top six are really shimmers, and then these are all mattes, which are all great changes and shades for you guys. And my focus today is really this center line here. That's what we're going for. This is more of a reddish there's a little bit of hint of purple in this one here on the bottom but this is where our focal point is so i'm really excited to give you guys a first hand look on the palette today because i love i love juvia's place palettes you guys know this morphe and juvia's place palettes are really like my go-to's you know so let's get some brushes and get started um, I really wanted to jump in with um, that reddish one right on the bottom. Um, we're going to go right across the crease. I think I kind of want to do um, a good transition over the lid today with everything. So let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. It looks pretty red. Redder than I expected. Brighter, pinkier than expected. Ooh. But that's okay. We like it bright. Alright, so I'm going in with that other color. The first one's name is. Zora. Z O H R A. And the next one I'm going in with was Nomad, which is a very shimmery mauve color. And I'm hoping this one's going to show up just a smidge darker right in that crease for me. Oof, can you guys see the shimmer? I'm going to deepen up right in this crease a little bit because that, that darker red color was not what I was expecting. So I'm going to go in with the darker the brown shade, which is Fez. Right down there, right across. 
this in that bottom corner right here. A little bit. Just to darken it because I was looking really flat for a second there. I'm just going to go in girl. That is not what we were going for. intense. I always want to do circular motions to help bend it out as you go. If you don't feel like it is blending really well, go back in with the other colors that you want it to blend with to help it blend. Put some of those other colors back in. Girl. Put them. Sometimes it's just what you gotta do. There we go. That intensified that, that mauve color that I really loved. For sure. Can you see that? Yes, girl. I'm like really, 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 really loving this. Oh. We're gonna even all this out and take it down because that is a crazy color. Crazy. Mm. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna get some concealer out. I'm gonna cut this a little bit. Grab any concealer you want. Today I'm grabbing uh Went Wild's Photo Focus Concealer. Um, just the one I seem to grab today. No rhyme or reason really to it. I don't generally use this one. So it'll be interesting to see how she works. But I want to do a partial cut with this one. And then we're going to blend that corner into it. I might need to do a heavier one just because these colors are pigmented. Usually the reason you say a uh, heavier concealer, you need a good amount to cut through this color. You need all this shadow color. You see how the pigment's kind of coming through in some spots? You need it to cut through and cover it up. If you don't cover it up, the color you're trying to replace it with is going to shine right through. It's going to shine through it. And that is not the goal here by any means. Not by any means. So there we go. We've cut it best we can, which I'm just fine with the way it came out. Um, if you do a heavier concealer, obviously more of the color will go away. Totally up to your preference, but this works for me. So now I'm going in with Ziza, I believe it's A-Z-I-Z-A, -Z -Z -A, to go right over this cut that we just made, where that concealer is. Remember, you want to pack it. You don't want to do too much dragging. I just going to pull all that concealer all the way around, and you have all these weird spots. I do a little bit when I'm doing the top, just to make sure those lines are nice and crisp. When I'm doing the top edge, but you really don't want to pull too much. Or I'm just going to move all that concealer around because it's not set. 
You have all these spots that are missing color and concealer. You have spots that have too much. We don't want craziness. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Not at all. I'm going all the way to the end where that concealer ended just to set it all and it really blends really well just pat a little bit in there and we'll blend some more in just to intensify some of it and just make sure it all blends seamlessly as we go because that's the goal here we'll intensify the edge make sure everybody's good i really love this combo because if you look at these they don't look the way you would think they would come out. But they look fantastic together, like utterly fantastic. Woo! Like, yes girl, this combo is like I'm like so living for this right now. Like, woo, 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 woo. Oh. Can you all see that? Ooh. I'm like happy as a clam. Happy, 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 happy. All right, so we're gonna go back in a little bit. And I'm gonna use this brush I used for that brown. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that mauve color and a little bit of that brown. I'm gonna take it back in over here just to bring that corner back in. I have a hair. Get up here. We'll just to bring it back in and blend it a little bit. so tickled pink with this let's go ahead and do the brow so we can start cleaning up the top of this and then we'll figure out the wing and the bottom and all that oops so for today for brows we're using our dad's brow pomade in medium brown my you my usual go-to brow pomade just Feeling the brow pomade today. I did do a review on the Shop Miss A's Sculpting Brow Pencils. If you guys have not seen that, make sure you check that video out. I will put the link in the comments below, in the description below. Um, I really like the pencils. Today, for this particular look, I'm using my pomade. Um, but I do like them. So make sure you check those out. See if it's a thing for you or not. I don't usually use pencils, but let me tell you, I do like those. And I do like... How thin your brows come out, uh, how easy it was to shape them, clean them up. The brushes they come with were really great. So I think palm made a little bit harder to clean up. So make sure you check that out. Let me know what you think of it. Is it a yay? Is it a nay for you? I have my, my neighbor checking them out as well. I gave her her color to test it out. To get her thoughts and opinion on it because we love finding great drugstore products that work like phenomenally work we don't just use like any drugstore stuff but you guys catch my drift obviously concealer to clean up these brows and to bring down this uh, eyeshadow what I like to do is when I do my brows if this is too high for me I like to use my concealer just to bring it down a little bit excuse me just to bring it down a little bit so it's not too overwhelming Just a little bit on the edges. 
as you can see like so and then if like I use my finger to blend it carefully go in with the brush too much it can really really ruin it and we don't want to do that I'm just trying to clean up that edge a little bit on the bottom. So when I go to do my liner, we are good to go. <laughs> Another thing I like to do too, just to make sure it's all blended really well, is like to get a clean fluffy brush, get a neutral color and just go around the edges. One, to set that concealer. For it too, to also make sure these are really well blended, but they aren't too high as well. It sets everything to the neutral color that goes well with everything. You don't have any issues. Ooh. And if you don't like the way it looks, just go back in with those colors you just cleaned up and fix it. Just remember, don't too much, don't do too much shadow cream, shadow cream. It will get messy. Pinky promise, yeah. All right, let's do this liner real quick. I got this new liner called Tattoo Effect Thai Pigment Waterproof Liquid Liner from Mia Adora Beauty. Um, I've been using and trying out a bunch of their new products lately, as you guys have been able to see on my Instagram. I used this once yesterday. I'm not super familiar with felt tips, me and them are not friends so you guys need to bear with me i can do liners for days i love liners i am great with doing a wing but felt types of me are not friends i do i have practice with this on my hand the tip is great for doing detail i was able to write little words and everything great now using on your eyeball and the skin and the textures are we're going to attempt to wing on camera for y'all. Pray. Pray for me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Here it goes. Isn't super sharp, but I nailed it. Mm. <laughs> but I nailed it, and I used it, and it's great. I love the pigment on it. It does everything that I needed to do, um, and it stays all day. I haven't had any issues with it, so that's it in action. All right, guys, here's the finished look from today's video. I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys found it informative and you find something useful from the video. If you are new to the Split family, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell down below as YouTube doesn't always give notifications for when we upload. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and share for all your makeup fanatic friends and family um and also if you want to be part of the split fam across the board make sure you find all my links for all my other social media bases in the description below also i will be listing all the products that we use from today because obviously you guys didn't see my whole transformation i'll make sure that i list all the products 
in the description below for you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me and I'll